There once was a time before the internet and social media where actors were, you know, superstars, megastars, stars to us that would go watch their movies, see them on TV. And it's because actors back in the day, for the most part, were pretty, um, they would conceal their politics, their political affiliations. They wouldn't, they wouldn't talk about any of that stuff in the public. We didn't, we really truly didn't know who these people were. We just knew we saw them on the big screen or on the small screen. They were larger than life. They were stars. Then fast forward to the internet and social media, and then we get to know some of these people. And we find out that most of them are pieces of trash and don't like us. We'll use Mark Hamill as an example. Um, in light of the things that happened this past weekend with former President Donald Trump and the attempt on his life, um, Trump appeared at the RNC convention last night. He had a rather large bandage on his ear from where he uh, was, um, like Bertram, shot. And Mark Hamill decided to, uh, well, I'll just show you. He decided to make fun of it. First appearance of ludic ludicrously oversized ear bandage, apparently not needed prior to tonight. Ear emoji, laughing emoji. And needless to say, Mark Hamill, who has... Uh, I would say an enormous case of TDS. Needless to say, I think he's a piece of shit. That's my opinion. You can share your opinion of him down in the comments below. Or even if you disagree with me, you can share your comment down below. Um, he's getting just eviscerated on social media. Trump supporters are laying into Mark Campbell about bandage posts. This is from Elizabeth Aubrey over at uh, NME. Some supporters of Donald Trump are criticizing Mark Hamill online following a post from the Star Wars actor about the former president. There was a failed assassination attempt on Trump at a rally over the weekend that was back on Saturday, July 13th, during which a shooter fired at the former president. The shooter grazed Trump's ear and killed one at the rally. Yes, one person did lose their life at the rally, protecting his family. Man who who has been identified by the FBI as Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, suspected of firing rifle shots at the former president with one bullet appearing to strike his ear. The FBI later confirmed they are treating the incident as an assassination attempt. Hamill made a comment about Trump's appearance in public yesterday, July 15th, his first since the shooting, saying the bandage the former president was seen wearing on his ear was oversized, quote unquote. He also went on to claim that the bandage wasn't worn prior to his appearance. Well, Mark. Here we go. You ever got get shot, Mark? Shut the fuck up. It's so depressing how lame Luke Skywalker is in real life. Mark Hamill is a weak little man that is filled with hate and anger. Mark, did you ever visit a certain island owned by a certain financial banker? Better question is, how many times did he visit that island? You would have shit yourself and cried in the fetal position, needing Secret Service to carry you out and coddle you with a milk bottle. You wouldn't know about oversized anything as the mushroom and marbles in your pants are your only reference. <laughs> Oh, uh, Matthew Marsden. He got shot when golfing the next day. You lock curl in a ball if someone calls you the wrong pronouns. Levels. Desperu. How big a bandage do you think is acceptable for getting shot in the head? Joe Biden had bigger bandages after he fell off a bike. This man was just shot in the head because of people like you. Maybe chill. Have you ever been shot and almost killed, you POS? 
your dude hid in the basement during a pandemic that had a 99.8% survival rate. Trump is out in public hours after being shot by one of the lunatics in your party. Sit this one out, pussy. You're five years younger than Trump, and you look like you're in competition with Biden as to who looks more like walking cadaver. Did you hit send tweet and then look around for people to applause? Uh, D-Day Cobra, you're a sad and pathetic person. So there you go. Mark Hamill, I would say not the brightest move. Of course, we expect that from Mark Hamill. He's not a very bright individual, in my opinion. Now, just for reference, um, this video is of Trump walking into the RNC as uh, Lee Greenwood is singing God Bless the USA. Now, I'm not going to play the audio because I'll probably get copyrighted for the music, but this is probably, I would have to say, the most somber I've seen President Trump. I mean, it's been an emotional weekend with the, with the attempt on Saturday. Then he got the news yesterday that one of his cases, the Jack Smith case, the classified docs case, was dismissed. And some people said he looked tired. I think he's wearing his emotions on his sleeve right now. It's been a pretty emotional weekend or a few days. So let's just uh, check this out here. I mean, for what I'm seeing here, I don't see somebody that looks tired. I look, I see somebody that looks, um, looks very appreciative, um, as far as the, the support and outpouring that him and his family re have received in the last few days. That's, that's my take on it. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. What do you think about Mark Hamill's comments? Share your opinion. Love to see what you guys have to say out there. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. With that, I will catch you guys later.